otherwise known as the Square Division. Thank you guys so much for being here today Thanks for on this wonderful us. set that I've provided. Yes. Yes. Courtesy of The X Factor. Love a feature wall. <laughs> I know. I feel like it's the jungle out there. Yeah. No, thank you guys so much for being here. I, I, I'm a big fan of you guys and I love your work and all your creative things that you do. Likewise, thanks for having us. Yeah. Tell me guys, do you guys drink tea? Love yes. tea. Yeah. I didn't drink coffee, he drinks coffee. So. I have one a day, one coffee a day. But I'm the same. I cheat on tea one. with a coffee once a day. Yes, yeah. yeah. And I've just found, actually, I just found Rubos, which we're drinking today. Yeah. And that's my, that's my addiction at the moment. But when we say addiction, we're talking like <laughs> mm, 10 cups a day. Really? 10 cups? I'll like reuse the, tea, the same tea oh, bag. Okay. <laughs> 10 times? Well, maybe about three. Okay. And then it's and like then on to the next one. Yeah. It is nice. I do love a yeah, bit of... Good. How do you say it? Robos? Robos? Oh, that's how I say it. Rubos, I think I you're think totally you're all making that up. Probably. Yeah. It's South African, yeah. I believe. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just go with that. Yeah. Um, so you guys are otherwise known as the Squared Division. Yes. And we've heard your names around the traps on... The X Factor mm -hmm. Australia. You guys are the creative directors, mm -hmm. but the Square Division is a production house. So you not only work on X Factor, you've worked with everyone. I feel from international acts like Demi Lovato, Kylie Minogue, who's homegrown, of course. Uh, Nick Jonas. You've done a lot, a lot of work with him. Britney Spears, who is my icon of <laughs> life, yeah. and we'll talk more about that soon. So you guys are just some of the most creative brains I've ever come across. You guys work so hard. You've just risen to the top and you're just two of the best humans as well. Okay. So nice, humble, down to earth. Dress like this <laughs> every day. You look you look this good. Um, Not every day. Life is a costume. Most days, most days. Life is a costume <laughs> for you guys. It is, totally. Every time I see you, I'm like, oh my God, like where? Where did you get that? Yeah. But we, I want to talk about all of that and more. But tell me, how did this begin for you? You guys, um, just take me back to how you grew up, where you grew up, and how all of this came about. Mm. I grew up in Perth, and Ash grew up in Melbourne, and we both started as dancers, really, I guess. I sang a bit, and... Um, and I dabbled in styling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, and then we, 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 we met, actually, we were dancing in a musical together. Yeah. Grease, the Arena Spectacular. Yes. Actually, that was with, who was... Natalie Bassing Nat. yeah, yeah was, she was in that. Um, yeah. But yeah, we, we met there and we, we were kind of, not to say that we were coming to the end of our dance careers, but we were definitely looking for bigger and better things. And I think in our, in our, in our journey to be choreographers, we just became so demanding on our jobs. We were like... We ended up, you know, having oh, a vision. You can't wear yeah. that. And we changed that. Or we'd be yeah. like, oh, why aren't the lights doing that? Why aren't, you know, why, why aren't we bringing this set piece in? And that actually ended up making us become more than just choreographers. And, and it kind of wasn't happening here in Australia at the time. Like the creative director role, the creative, so to speak. There yeah. wasn't that for stage so much. I mean, there's always been a director for stage, but for pop acts here, I don't think anyone was really taking a hold of that title and, and running with it. And I think yeah. we, just, we just went with it. So yeah, we joined forces. We, we got our first job and we were like, great, this is our new role. And from there, we just, we just kept we kept, I, think, I think what happened for us really is that we just love what we do and we have so much passion and first and foremost, everything we do, it's about passion and it's about do we love it, no matter how big or small the job. And I think, I think that's what actually made us continue to work, cont continue to get more yeah. work and for people to recognise that and then want to continue to work with us. I think that that's kind of the snowball effect that, that took place with us. Yeah. Yeah. It's incredible. It's an amazing journey to see just, you know, two guys doing what they love and then exactly what we say, it's a snowball effect. So you mm -hmm. start with one job and you think, yes, we got, we got one job. Yeah, totally. And then it's exactly that. You've got to deliver on that and then you get rehired and rehired and, rehired and, and all of a sudden it's totally. just too much. Oh, oh, all of a sudden you've mm -hmm. just got so much on. Yeah, you, you need a team of people around you. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah, you need to offload it. Yeah. And you guys, when you guys met, because... You guys are a couple as we well. Are. We yes. work together, mm -hmm. in a relationship together. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so you met on Greece, and was it love at first sight? I, it was for me. I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't think it was for me. No, I don't know. I don't think so. But I don't know. I can't, actually can't remember. I've got the worst memory. I know that sounds really terrible. That was like 15. Like yeah, he's got a he twelve like, thirteen years ago now, and I'm he like, can do oh, a okay. whole like we we did that show and he probably knew the names of like three people. Oh, in can that you cast. not say that on? You're terrible. Oh, he's no, terrible. I'm terrible. 
It's terrible. Do you remember yeah. mine? Eh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not that bad, but <laughs> yeah, you got a bad memory. <clears throat> Do you know his name? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> so love at first sight, not so much. <laughs> Grew into love. Okay, that's all right. It's always the way. Yeah. And, and obviously blossomed into a relationship. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've been together ever since. So we've been together yeah. for twelve, 12 years. years. Yeah. Twelve years. Has it been twelve? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah. Okay. That, that's a very yes. that's a good innings, guys. Yeah, it's yeah. a good innings, yes. What is that like working together and being in a relationship? How does that dynamic work and has it taken you a while to get into the groove of it? E it took a while. I'm gonna say it took a while. Yeah, like when we happen. first met we were we were like dancing as performers and singing and that competing, like going to auditions and competing for the same jobs as as yeah. both guys, like we were going for the same jobs as performers. And he was always better than me. So like oh, he'd get the not. job and I wouldn't. And <laughs> I'd just be like, oh my God, I'm so bad. But now I'm kind of, I, got, I got used to that. I was like, whatever. I'm just I, that, I, I actually think that's one of the reasons why we thought we should start working together. Like I think it, it kind of helped the relationship to have a common interest and in, in something that we, a project that we could do together mm -hmm. rather than compete against each other. Yeah. But then when we did form the square division, it was like the, the arguments were different. It was on a creative level, do you know what I mean? And it, it took us a while to find our groove and to understand what our strengths were. And now we trust each other and he knows what my strengths are and I know what his strengths are. So we, we back down when we know the person's right, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So now we're, we're good. Like, I think the beauty of being in a relationship and having these issues in work is that you kind of, you kind of know that the arguments about work and then at the end of it like you get in the car and I wouldn't even talk about it again. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, yeah. it is what it is. And Actually we yeah. learnt early on that it was like, okay let's say 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. was our, like let's not talk about work after that. Yes. And then we're good. I, yeah. str I struggle with that though. Unless you're working at 10 p.m. <laughs> yeah. Like you guys right. really <laughs> yeah, totally. yeah. I just can't conceive of the amount of ideas that you have to come up with on a daily basis, especially for something like mm -hmm. The X Factor where it's like you start with 12 Acts, mm -hmm. and you have to come up with a different creative for yeah. every single person yeah. and it has to be just as good each time and, and not repeating and not repeating one yeah and not <laughs> copying straight <laughs> off of someone else that's done something yeah. and it's not a, it's just is the lighting it's the staging it's the props it's the story of the yes. song it's the costuming yes. it's actually everything mm -hmm. creatively that we're seeing totally tell me where is there like this like cloud of creativity that it comes from? Where does it come from? Well, we end up we we actually outside of X Factor, we're writing yeah. treatments. We write treatments for these performances. Every performance has a you know a ten page treatment that goes with it, if not more. Mm -hmm. um, but we write these treatments all year, and we're constantly online. We're constantly taking um, photos. Taking photos. If we're right walking out. down the street, we're constantly going to fashion shows. Constantly going to art exhibitions. Just trying to be inspired as much as we can. And yeah. we actually spend the whole year writing these treatments and pulling references. And so we have just reference files for things that inspire us. You know, whether it be a hat or a an, a building that's a you know an architectural building or whatever that is, and so when we get to X Factor because it is so intense, intense for ten weeks. For ten weeks that of catalog writing treatments, becomes very handy. Yes. Yeah, that catalogue of inspiration is yeah. very very much on hand. Yeah, but we're, yeah, we're able to to take to take something that we've seen and twist it to make it work for a show. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, it's incredible. Like yeah. really well done. But it's hard. Yeah, yeah, at the, end of, sure? at the end of the 10 weeks, and we're writing the finale treatment, for an example, we're both like, it's like, like that. it's like, just, just wringing it dry, it's like, okay, we can do this, we can do it. We love it still, we totally love it, but we must admit, the last week's hard. I think it's that thing of knowing that it's the last week, and it's the last round of creators for this show that you have to do for the year, and it's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting week. And you're tired, and, but you've got a team around you that helps you deliver. Oh, an amazing yes, team. Amazing team, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you choreograph too, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Just everything. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And uh, sometimes we've, we've gotten choreographers in, Yeah. but we're very hands on. Like, yeah. we're too fussy. Sometimes we'll see something <laughs> and we'd just change it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure choreographers <laughs> that work for us don't like us. <laughs> I guess we're very hands-on. Yeah. Well, that's, I guess at the end of the day, it's, yeah, it's, your, yeah. it's your work yes. and your art. And I've seen you guys at work and it's it's wonderful to see. Oh, I, yeah, you, you really are hands-on. You're behind the camera, you're like following the camera <laughs> around, your, your, your bodies are moving with the dancers, <laughs> totally. like you're in it and you're committed and it's, yeah, yeah that's why it's so great. So tell me, um, what what is it 
that keeps the fire burning? What is it that you love? What are the things that keep it going? I think for me, it's seeing seeing your work yeah. on stage the final or product. on camera and then right. actually loving it yourself. Mm. Like actually loving, like, I mean, you know, sometimes there's things we don't love as much as others, but then there's just some moments you know, that we create, that we just go, oh, that touched us. Yeah. And that's that's what I do it for. Yeah. I know. I mean, yeah, I'm the yeah. same. And and doing things, doing things that that haven't been done too. Like mm -hmm. we just did Guy's performance mm -hmm. on the X Factor and we were super proud of that because yeah. it's something that the style of performance that we did is something that this country doesn't do. Mm -hmm. You know, we're kind of a bit scared to do it. And I was so happy that that we were allowed to do it and Guy was like eager to do it. Yeah, yeah, you know? it was really different for him too because yeah. he doesn't normally do that sort of a performance. Yeah. He's very kind of voice space yes. and not really mm -hmm. the action around him. Yeah. Mm. Kind of like, yeah. yeah. yeah I think everyone knows him as as a, a great musician, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? He's, he's so established that he can afford to kind of strip it back and go, okay, this is, we're now looking at a, at a picture here, yeah. you know? Yeah, no, yeah. I loved it. And I think that's exactly what your, your storytellers, you, you take a, a song or a moment or a vibe or that feeling of a song and you, you give us the visual, mm -hmm. yeah. which is really hard because sometimes I listen to a song and I'm like, oh yeah. And then you see a video clip or, mm -hmm. or a performance of it and you think, oh, I never would have thought yes. of that before. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. think, I think that's what it is, your story. Yeah, we, we make sure everything mm -hmm. makes sense story-wise in our heads. Mm -hmm. Even if it's like the smallest link, yeah. we it has to have a story, otherwise we don't get it. Right. Like, yeah. Otherwise, why yeah. the dancers on stage? Or, right. You know, yeah. we never have dancers for dancers or we'll never do a set just because. Yes. It'll always have a reason why it's there. Yeah. And tell me, um, have you have you got a performance that you guys have produced that you are most proud of or a couple? Oh gosh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we can't remember. I mean, you know what? In, in, in the immediate, Guy's performance, definitely. Yeah. Really proud of that. Totally. Really happy with that yeah. moment that we created. Um, yeah. Um, Before that, probably... We just did We just we did just, a performance in uh, we did Canada. Oh, I was going to say one? the Much Music Awards. Uh, I was going to say the Billboard Awards. Okay, well, cool. So the Billboard Awards, we did Nick Jonas's Billboard performance. Oh, amazing. Um, this year. And and all the elements came together. like. Like like guys, it was it was a bit more stripped back. Like actually, Nick's didn't have any dancers. It was just about the set and lighting, and um, and it just all clicked. And everyone, all the team at the Billboard Awards, were so into making it happen for us, mm -hmm. which is something that we love working over in the states because we find all the creatives. When you get to a TV show or an award show, we find all the creatives are so are so like inspired, inspired and ready to listen to the creative directors to, to make the vision come alive. Like, like they really understand mm. what needs to happen to make mm. that happen. Anyway, um, performance went well. And then a couple of hours later, it was number one on the Billboard um, review charts. Amazing. So we were like, we yeah, were stoked. stoked. Yeah, that's yeah. an achievement. Yeah. Good feeling, yeah. All that hard work mm -hmm. pays off. Yeah. That was going to be good. one of my other questions. What do you find um, working in with international acts versus working with Aussie acts? Is it, you say the the Americans are really behind the creative and, and that sort of thing. I think from what I would perceive, we have less budget and- Totally, and I mean, that's the, that's the yeah. most obvious one, yeah. firstly, is the budget. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, you know what, like, yeah, yes, we have less budget, but sometimes like, the more money, the more problems. Totally. Like, I don't know, like, you know, like, you can still create the same kind of thing here yeah. for less money. You just need to have the opportunity to do it. And I find that sometimes in Australia, we don't get the opportunity or, I don't know if allowance is the right word, but the allow, you know, people don't allow you to do it here. Um, whereas over there, everyone's pushing themselves to be different and next level and we've got to push ourselves further. We can't do something that anyone's done before. Like, you yeah. know, it, it's, all about, it's all about growth and it's all about doing something better than someone else. So I yeah. feel like that is something that's, inspiring when we work in America. It's, yeah. it's, it's about pushing boundaries a little more. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Now, um, can we please talk about your clothes? <laughs> sure. <laughs> no problem. Can you see my fancy pants that I've put on today? So fancy. fancy Fancy shoes my fancy pants. Is that, is that like, is that a mariachi or is yeah, that? Yeah, it's it a is. little Mexican um, that. dancer. Fabulous. And, I don't know, denim yeah. shirt. Fabulous. <laughs> 
And my Givenchy shoes. I love the Givenchy, Givenchy, Givenchy shoes. shoes. I, yeah, um, I could support that. Because, yeah. I mean, look, look at you. We've got army, we've got like yes. print, leather, tassels, fluoro orange. Yes. Please, can we hold, hold up? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, they're, they're, they're Vivian Westwood. Bit, Vivian Westwood, these little babies. Uh, I mean... They do have a flap that goes over the front, but I couldn't find it in Aria this morning, so it's not looking <laughs> the like cutest. like that, like yours. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's yeah, not okay. the cutest, but yeah. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys look like this every single time I see you. Mm -hmm. It's... Uh, I mean, I have to know what... How, how this happens. First of all, where do you buy this stuff? We e collect everywhere. along the yeah. way. We're big collectors of clothes. That's yeah. our kind of, probably our downfall budget wise. <laughs> uh, we don't really hold back on fashion. Mm -hmm. If we see something, we love it, we grab it. Cause we know that we're going to wear it to death. Yes. And we don't waste clothes. Like we literally wear them to death. Like we're not someone that goes, oh, I just bought those $2,000 shoes, I'm never going to wear them. I'm like, no, I'll wear them every day. Right. I'll wear yeah. them to the supermarket. Yes. I'll, you know, like, we'll wear them. Like, we're, we're those kind of people. That's good. It's like when you buy the the nice china and the cutlery and you, and you never, never use it. We, we use it. Yeah. We use everything, don't we? It's like, yeah. well, it's like that hand. We always, all, all our girlfriends are up to that point in their lives where they, you know, they want a lovely handbag <laughs> and they want to spend some good money. I'm like, that, they, they don't want to spend the money because they think, oh, I'll just, I'm just going to be getting it out when. I'm going to a party or whatever. Yes. Like, no. I might just wear it every yeah, day. Just I use, agree. use that hand, handbag every day. No, you kind of don't want to ruin it, but I get, yeah, I, 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 I I'll just get another one. one. <laughs> 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 just get another one when that one's tired. <laughs> and what do you, like, okay, you're looking in your wardrobe and you're like, oh, yeah, that print will go with that print and those shoes for sure. And that massive hat it will be great. And I'm going to wear nine chains, you know, like, <laughs> oh, yeah. do you just <laughs> literally <laughs> just. <laughs> is that how it happens or is there a thought process or it's actually just a natural style like yeah. I'm, I'm not like i think everyone's got their own personal style ours is just it's like just we've we're both very different very from each different. other i'm much it, louder i'm the clown well, he's of, the clown of like, the I'm fashion like, oh, relationship the coming out like <laughs> yeah <laughs> my get, favorite thing i saw you was that adidas print like top to toe Adidas, it's I think it's blue with all the, the flowers. The flowers yeah, all over yeah, it. yeah, that's yeah, cool. I love I've that. actually got another one that's same Adidas. Jeremy Scott, but it's a tape measure. Oh, so I'm like tape measure head to toe. But when I when I'm out and I'm, let's say we're sitting at a restaurant. I always get little kids coming up to me and kind of like staring at me because oh, I'm in we the were, loudest quiet. We were in we were in Malibu <laughs> recently at this cafe and we were just sitting there during the day and we we're just like you know just having a little bite to eat and this little boy just come up and staring at that from all and he was like, why are you wearing all that stuff? <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, that is the best. Hysterical. Yeah, because he did. He had these shoes on that were like teddy bears and like jewelry and this and that. And I was like, wow, you're a lot right now. Like, that poor kid doesn't know what he's looking at. But I think it's very true of who you are. And that yeah. it's, it's an expression. And you are like, what you guys are is that on the stage. And that mm -hmm. comes out in your work as well. So you're being very authentic. Yeah. Even yeah. In sometimes, the teddy bear sometimes, shoes. I, sometimes I look at him and I'm like, it too? When are we too old to be wearing this? I, yes, I keep thinking, thing. at first I thought, okay, I've, it's gonna come time for me to stop, to stop wearing all this loud stuff. Mm -hmm. But I just, just keep doing it. Like, this is what I feel, right? Like, yeah, I think... He goes through these ways where he's like, no, 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 I'm gonna be like, I'm beige. I'm beige, I'm going beige, beige and grand, browns like, and That's like, it, like I do. And then I snap out of it. No patterns, <laughs> no prints. <Yeah. laughs> do you ever borrow? Ooh. He's hardcore. He won't let me borrow anything. Really? He thinks I'm going to stretch everything. <laughs> like, he does. Just shoes. No wonder I have a He's complex. got wider feet. <laughs> See, totally, totally. He's always like, no, you're going to stretch it. Oh, you stretch And I'm like, mm. but I let so him borrow my stuff. Well, that's nice. But I, I don't often. But yeah, there's, there's they're like... They're my shoes. Yeah, these are his shoes. <laughs> there are pieces that we tend to like. They're the borrowing pieces. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, the shared. <laughs> yeah, the shared, shared, shared items. Shared. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's so cool. Um, okay, now, do you have people or a person that inspires you guys? Um, I have quite a few photographers. Like, mm -hmm. I love... I love Miles Aldridge and I love Guy Bedeen and all, all those... All those greats, they're just... David LaChapelle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're inspired by photography. And photography they're, and they're fashion. They're probably our three main... Well, all those guys are, are fashion photographers, and I think that's that's where they're, our they're eye cutting, goes to. They're cutting-edge fashion and photographers. They, if, you, if you're familiar with them, they just push the boundaries. Yeah. Like, crazy. All in different ways, too, you know? Mm. Yeah. Mm. They're really inspiring us at the moment. Yep. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. And what about fashion-wise? What are, what are some of the designers that you're into? Uh, I'm really into Saint Laurent at the moment. Oh, yeah, yes. I love Saint Laurent. Just Always. Simple. I mean, yep. I guess 
I'm a big fan of Jeremy Scott. Yeah. Oh, I was wondering <laughs> if you were going to say And that. Versace. I yes. love Versace, I mean. obviously. <laughs> we can't say what we did recently, but we, um, we worked on a TV show in America. And, and I got to meet Jeremy and Scott. And Jeremy Scott did was you? working on the show with us too. And, and I had a full he was head to toe Jeremy outfit on. Jeremy Scott. And yeah. It was quite funny. I was, did you know I was you slightly were embarrassed meet him for him. That day? <gasps> I didn't think we did. We didn't did know we? he was going to be there, no. Yeah, yeah, and I had a full Machino outfit on and yeah. he was there. Did he love he, it? Yeah, he loved it. Oh, yeah. What's he like? Cool. Really, actually, he was quite kind of shy. Yeah, really shy. Yeah. Really lovely. But a lovely yeah. guy, but shy. Not yeah. like loud, like his clothes. Isn't you know that, what I mean? That's yeah. so, it's always the way. Yeah. yeah. It's always the way. Mm. Like, the, yeah, the, the yeah, ones you think are going to be. Yeah. Mm. Wow. He's incredible. Yeah. He's amazing. Yeah. Um, what about people real life? Like, are there people, I don't know, like, that you sort of grew up watching mm -hmm. and, and they inspired you to move forward and move ahead in your life? Or someone that you look to now and as kind of a mentor or... You guys just making it up as you go. No, I think they've always changed through my life. I think yeah. as as a younger person, I had a lot of as while I was dancing, I had a lot of inspirations. And I don't know if you know Kelly Abbey. She's a great yeah. Australian choreographer. Like she was, she was one of mine. Mm -hmm. um, and then I had I had a dance teacher back in the day. Her name was Christabel. Mm -hmm. That was when I was quite young, and and she nurtured me. Mm -hmm. um, and then I had some personal friends, Boyd and Denise Wilson, and and they. It was just like people that were close to me back yeah. then, back in the day, always nurturing and helping mm -hmm. me, helping me grow, mm -hmm. you know? I don't mm -hmm. know about you, but... Yeah, it's forever changing. Yeah. It's forever changing, depending on where I'm at right now. Mm. But um, definitely people that um, are doing something that I aspire to do at that time, you know, like yeah. right now I aspire to be bigger and better at everything that I do and mm. the people that are doing that, like... Yeah. Yeah, there's a creative director, Ez Devlin, who we... Love just love her work. her work, and she does incredible stuff. And you know, she'd probably be my inspiration at the moment. Mm. Um, yeah, she's yeah. just seeing seeing other people's work. You know, like I guess some people some people would look at that and get jealous. We look at that and think, "Wow, do, do you know what I mean? I want to I want to do yeah. that." Yeah. That's it helps such us a good motivate. Attitude. You yeah. know, yeah, it's such a good attitude. Yeah, and I think having each other mm. too. I think that's a really important thing to be a part of a team. Yeah. Um, that you can always sort of, I know that I'm like, I, I can never just rely on my own decision. Yeah. <laughs> Most yeah. of the time I have to mm. ask somebody or get, you know, just, just to see, you know, if, if it's, yeah. if I'm way off or, yeah. do, you, do you feel like you're always kind of talking yeah, that, to I think, each other? And yeah, that's where, that's where our relationship works really well, like the strengths and weaknesses. I'm, I'm more like that, I'm more mm. like you where I'll have an idea, or I'll, I'll know what I want, but I just want that reassurance, yeah. you know, and he, he will give that to me. He'll, he'll say, you know, that's mm -hmm. great, you know. Mm -hmm. He's a bit more like, this is what I want. I know what it is. Yeah. I don't need anyone else's opinion. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I do like another opinion. You do. You, I'm pretty firm he's pretty that firm I know what I like. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And that's, that's, that's good. I that's think why that's probably a good balance. Yeah. Yeah. I think if it's not black, like, for me, like, I could do my head in about overthinking things. Mm -hmm. And I think when you're working so much and you've got so many decisions to make, I just know. I just yeah. I have to make a decision, and yeah. it's black and white for me. It's like, yeah, great, let's do it. That's what and, it is. And so often we're we're on multiple jobs at once. So we're in separate countries, working on different projects, and then I have to slip into that role, and I find myself channel channeling him right. and realizing, oh, yeah, just just go with your first instinct. Yes. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? If if that's if that's what your gut's telling you first, just go, go with it and don't question it. Mm. Yeah. And I find that helps. Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna stretch and grow. And you're going to maybe ask someone else's opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I ask. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> no, I think that's important. That's a very good balance for sure. Mm -hmm. I need to get better at making more firm decisions. Firm. Going with Just it. Go with yeah. it. Yeah. Go with it, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, the time has come. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Britney Spears. Yes. You guys have worked very intimately with her uh -huh. and I adore her. I'm her biggest fan. I love her. Excellent. She's amazing. <laughs> so you guys choreographed her Vegas show. So yes, she has sure a residency did. in Vegas. Yes. She did that for two years and she's just extended out for another couple of years, yes, I think. She has. Yep. Yeah. Oh my God. Tell me everything. How did it happen? Tell me. Tell me well, everything. Well, it was funny. We were actually um, we, we were living in America and we'd only been we'd only been there for like a, a year. year. And, um, and we'd just and got it, an apartment. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and an audition brief had come out that she was looking for choreographers, mm -hmm. and so we were like, "Let's submit something." And we actually you have to over there you have to submit videos, so they 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 give you a list of songs, and you have to get 
dancers together into a studio. You've got to costume it. You've got to get your cameraman. You've got to get, get a Britney lighting. Spears stand in. Yeah, and you've got yeah. to actually present to them what, what you would do. Your idea would be for this routine. Wow. You know, just yeah, so one song. We had two, to do two, okay. two. Yeah. So we actually, at that point, we were like. We don't really have enough people in America to ask favours for. Yeah. So we flew back to Australia yeah. <laughs> and wow. we asked a whole group of dancers and people here that we knew. We went into storage and got our old costumes out. Got all these out. old cosies <laughs> out and we like, yeah, we, we, um, we filmed two pieces um, in a, over a few days and we sent them in and within a week um, we were being flown back to America to do a one-on-one -on -one session with Brittany. Like a private lesson. A private lesson, because I think it was out of us and somebody else at the time, and yeah. she just wanted to get a vibe. So we went, we flew over, we had a one-on-one -on -one private lesson, and then that afternoon we got the offer yeah. that we were doing Britney Spears. She just loves you guys. We were in yeah. shock, because we actually thought, because a lot of the time they do, when they do these big concerts, like for her example, she'll have like, five or six choreographers and they'll all do like two numbers each or something like that. So we kind of thought we were just in the mix as, you know, maybe we'll get a couple of numbers, this will be great. But then we, we ended up getting the whole show. Yeah, this, and this director, the director we worked with, Baz Halpin, he wanted one choreographer to do every number. Mm -hmm. So it had a, a yeah. good through line. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so we, so we did that and it was, it was isn't incredible actually because, you know, I mean, talking about inspirations, in my dance days, like Britney Spears and all her music videos, I mean, like that was that that's what I kind of was looking up to. That yeah. was a time when we were dancing professionally and like, you know, that was what we were aspiring to be, you yeah. know, and especially in Australia, we didn't have I don't know, back then like there wasn't as big a access to America and the internet and you know, like that all being so viral that we didn't, you know, looking up to that and aspiring to those songs. And then all of a sudden we're in a dance studio with Britney Spears yeah, choreographing once. Slave for You and all these numbers and we were yeah. just like, oh my God, what's going on? Yeah. Like, That's yeah. Because she's a really good dancer, hey? Yeah, she's great. She's, yeah. she's fast at picking up too. Yeah. She's super fast at picking yeah. up yeah. and yeah. yeah. What, what was it like working with her? Yeah, it was yeah, great. It was, it, it was good to, to know how her, every, every, every artist's camp works differently and it yeah. was really interesting to like see how the machine works. Do you know mm. what I mean? Like, yeah, such a big machine. She's such a big yeah. star and there's yeah. so much for her to do and so much work to do and so many different avenues of, of products and shows and music videos and mu just everything. Yeah, and so it was that, really was, that was a highlight. We got, to, um, we got to choreograph her Work Bitch music video. Did so you? just to be on a Britney video oh was like God. crazy. Yeah, insane. Crazy. Yeah. I yeah. can't, I have no words, like I'm starstruck just talking about it. <laughs> and so now when we see, now when we see like montages of like her work and yeah. say the work which video is included, we're yeah. like, we're part of that, like cool. that's pretty cool. Like, she's, like she's history, right? Like yeah. she's an icon. Oh, yeah. She's an Big icon, time. so yeah, yeah. It's, it's cool. Well done. Is that just a pinch me moment? You just think, hold on a sec, what am I doing? Like, how am I? Yeah, am I? yeah totally. We, we you actually sort of get on with it, don't you? Like you, you get the job yes. you, and you have to do the work. So you're obviously in the zone of working. Yes. Yeah. But I'm sure at one moment you're like, hello, Brit you're Britney Spears and I'm telling you how what to, to do. do your dance moves. Totally, <laughs> yeah, totally. Like that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of pinch me moments actually yeah. and we really make sure that we talk about them. Like we're yeah. like, hey, this is what's going on right yeah. now. Can you believe it? Yeah. Like we yeah. actually have those moments all the time. Because otherwise it's just work. Do you know what I mean? You're just like so... Yes headstrong and when we're so busy and then you're juggling all these things like I'm like can you believe we're living in America we're doing this we're doing this we're doing this and that's all just this week yeah like we're literally like yeah haven't slept for four weeks and yeah. we're like oh my god but then I'm like no we need to pinch ourselves right now because this is the dream like yeah. we're living it right now yeah. and we need to be yeah. we need to be aware of it yeah we don't do that enough because you get you just get bogged down yeah. by the work yeah <laughs> and you kind of get used to it a little bit too yeah. like once it once you kind of rise to that mm. yeah you sort of you, it's you it's good to remind yourself mm. exactly of that. This was actually the dream, and we were actually living Doing, the dream yeah, right totally, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah, yeah. but yeah, that's the thing, because especially in the states, it's a like grind, and it's really hard, mm -hmm. and lots of Aussies go there and and try and make it happen for themselves, and some blitz it, and others yes. struggle a bit. It's so hard. There's so many people trying to do the yeah. same thing, but the fact that you guys like mm. got that gig almost immediately, yeah. credit to you guys. Yeah. And they love an Aussie, don't they? They do they love an Aussie. They do love an Aussie. Yeah, yeah. So great. Yeah. I'm very, I'm so proud of you guys. Thank um, you. Thank What do you, I mean, you guys work so much. You're just <laughs> always working. Yes. Do you ever have fun? Do you ever, what, what do, do we do? do, we do for we love, I love, I love, we both love restaurants. We like going to nice restaurants. We love nice restaurants. I love exercising. Yes. Outside. Yeah. Okay, yes. <laughs> so that is He's probably my, that. like, that's my moment of, like, joy. Yeah. yeah. 
yeah, yeah. being outdoors and, and exercising because it's you feel much better. You feel better in here. Yeah. You feel clearer about everything. Yeah. 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 Is that boring? Is that a boring response? No. It's kind of boring. Not really I'm not so much, much on it. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'm the eating one. Yeah. Yeah. Eating so I have to run everything. because, you know, I'm not blessed with the, you know, the, the lean physique. <laughs> yes. yeah. yeah. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. It's been such a pleasure to talk to you and you find too. out Thanks so many us. more things you about too. you. You guys have killed it. Absolutely killed it. Thank you. Couldn't be prouder. Thanks for the tea. Yeah, oh, thank you. Actually, you brought the tea, yeah. so oh. <laughs> thank you, guys. You brought the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, brought the water. And the, and the beautiful tea cup. <laughs> yes. I love that. The pink spots. Yeah, thank Just you. Just for that. Guys. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thanks. Big fans. Thanks for having us.